they call me Felix, and what if I told you that you could get Hamon Iberico in the province of the Philippines? I mean, I, I can't believe that we could. I think this is going to be a glorious day. Yes, and it's all thanks to, well, like I said, I, we got very curious about pastrami one day. And you should check out that video where we have pastrami sandwiches by Deli by Chelly. And we are not sponsored by them. We just were very curious to try their pastrami. We miss pastrami. And it, they just so happen to have a wide assortment of charcuterie, which includes hamon iberico. And, and, and it's in all in this magical box. And there's more stuff. Box. Yeah, and there's more stuff in here. There's uh, manche two types of manchego cheese. Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's yep. open the magical box. Let me get my magical knife. My yes. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. It's like completely like maybe two kilos, three kilos. Oh, yeah. Ooh. And then maybe because we got all the kinds of goodies in here. Well, first of all, let's go to the really dainty stuff. They have real pickles here. I mean, pickles like we're used to in the States. I mean, mouth puckering pickles. And we think we, and we sampled them on our pastrami sandwiches and they were quite good. Um, they have that little bit of um, zing that we like or that little mouth puckering zing. Not too sweet. But sweet pickles are not my thing yeah, either. Yeah, not sweet. Yes, exactly. Not sweet. Ooh, so we have pickles. four pickles. Yeah, it doesn't come with that, but you know, when I was shopping on their website, I just couldn't help. We need pickles around here. I mean, that's yeah. what Cousin JP and I also, you know, we have the same crave for, is pickles. Here. Yes. There you go. Manchego Semi Curado. Mm. Yeah. And then we'll go over on charcuterie board. And then we have... So they have different charcuterie uh, packs. So I think I got one of the, the Heritage, which includes this Semi Curado cheese. And then... Jamón Serrano. Ooh la la. Another Spanish ham, yes. And then you have chorizo iberico. Oh, you want to go to the capicola first. This is copa. Yes. Copa? Yep. There's some fatty, juicy goodness, goodness. there, too. And look at this. This is chorizo, chorizo iberico. iberico. <laughs> yes, and it also uh... comes from the Iberian pig. And then you have... Two? Yeah, truffle, not one, but two truffle manchego. Now, um, as of now, it doesn't come with those. I just ordered those a la carte, those truffle manchego, because you can never have enough cheese, especially truffle manchego cheese. cheese. Ugh. Get that there. And then, and then, what is this we have on top? <laughs> what is this? Uh, well, yeah, there it is. Yeah. The Hamon Iberico. Oh, the magical yes. words. Magic. And there's three of these. Yes. And at the very bottom is New York brisket pastrami. Mm. Yeah, all kinds of meats. All kinds of meats for the charcuterie board. Yes, for the charcuterie board. Look <clears> at <throat> all this. I think we have oh. basically everything, but oh yeah, I forgot this Purple. little number. Truffle cream cheese spread. Truffle <gasps> cream cheese spread. Wow. Everyone, yeah. That sounds delicious. Yeah. The only thing I guess we were missing is olives, but... We have olives. Oh, yeah. But we didn't order it from them. We yeah, we olives. didn't order it from them. So, yeah. this is what all we got from Deli by Chelly, and we need something to pair this with. So, and especially for the jamon iberico. Oh, yeah. It's Let's some see what is this? Spanish sparkling wine. Is it Noah? Um, let me see. Brute nature. A true reserva. Mm-hmm. We have to whip out the champagne flutes. Yes. Why, yes, we should. Because this is uh, like a dry sparkling wine. It's going oh, to it's refresh dry. our palates after eating some manchego cheese and some um, jamon iberico and some jamon serrano, as it so happens. So... You know, basically the plan is just down a slice of cheese, down a slice of ham, and then, yes, get our drink on. <laughs> and I bought two for this occasion. It's an occasion unto itself. We're not really celebrating anything. It's just charcuterie. Celebrating <laughs> life. Yeah, celebrating life every day. <laughs> okay. So that is our spread from Deli by Chelly. Um, our pastrami sandwiches came by yesterday. Uh -huh. So that was part of it as well. 
So, definitely spent more than a pretty penny. Okay, so we are going to put this on the board and make it extra nice and yeah, we're gonna get it some foods for our sparkling wine. Yes. Oh, the aromas, dear cousin, that are coming out of this <laughs> truffle manchego cheese. Smells delicious. Mm. Does smell a bit mushroomy. <laughs> that's cheese number one. Okay, that's one. Cheese number one, truffle manchego. We get this semi curado manchego cheese. Go very glistening. Yeah, that's a cheese. little bit. Oh. Almost has like a leather C just around there, yes. So, that's cheese number two. So, we're gonna yeah. do a, a, quite a number. We're gonna add some bread here because, of course, you should also enjoy. You should enjoy the jamon iberico by itself, yeah. but you should also put it with some little French bread and then some tomato, just some olive oil. Very simple. A little salt and pepper, perhaps. That's it. With wonderful harmony berry gold. I want to take a look what's in the, pa in the pack here. Looks sensational. Now I'm not sure which harmony berry gold uh, this is. If it's even the much ballyhood harmony berry gold de Bellota, um, or the uh, and even better the pata negra. So. Um, even with Hamon Iberico, they're not exactly created equal. And I've had different types of Hamon Iberico, so I can kind of tell you what's, you know, what's good. And I mean, the one that I've had was the Black Pig, and that's extraordinary. It's, 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 it's unlike any type of ham you'll ever, ever have. It, I don't know if you can call it ham, and yet it is ham. <laughs> um, so, really looking forward to that. And all you need to do is just let that thing melt on your tongue. Don't even chew that thing even for a second. You don't want to. Um, so a good Hamoni Berico, because they're acorn fed, you know, they're high on oleic acid, which is actually pretty good for you. Um, it's supposed to taste like all dimensions of flavor. It's supposed to taste, you know, earthy and really nutty. To me, sometimes it kind of tastes like beef jerky um, and, you know, fatty and then even floral. You know, you get all colors of flavor there. <laughs> if flavors had colors. Because we have a lot of salty goodness here, we gotta have something sweet, we gotta have something sour. With the pickles. To break up everything. Yes, to break up yeah, everything. So, and of course, some sparkling wine. So we have quite a, a medley of flavors here. Okay, Nasha. There's the harmony barco cut really thin, of course. So. Very this the, even cut. even the cutting of the hamon iberico is an art in itself. Look how thin the strips are there. Oh. I mean, you can see it tr translucent fat, right? Yes, look at that. So that requires no chewing at all. In fact, you should not chew that <laughs> unless it's on a, unless it's on a toast. It should melt in your mouth. Yeah, and, and then it, and then it releases all kinds of umami flavors. It's just like umami. <laughs> Ooh, mama, what's going on in my mouth? That that umami. That, but that's it. See how glistening it is in fat. Yeah. Look at that. Portion that. Yeah, looks legit. Hamoni berry cool. Glistening in fat. Yes, look at that. I'm just gonna but if you've had hamon iberico, it smells like ham, but it smells very earthy. Yeah, it's an earthy ham mm -hmm. smell. Very earthy smells going on around here. All right, so next up we have our hamon serrano, otherwise known as the, well, I don't know if it's a little bit of a joke, but every time I go to any like fancy, there's like, especially those fancy buffets in Metro Manila, and especially my favorite place, Spiral. And they ask if they have jamon iberico, and they always say, oh, we have jamon serrano. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm a little disappointed. But jamon serrano is also excellent ham. It just gets overshadowed because jamon iberico is like several. I, I don't want to put anything down, but it's just that jamon iberico, especially like the pata negra ones, um, it's, it's an experience is what that is. <laughs> This is very great ham. That's what that's what Serrano is, and that's our hamon Serrano on our board. 
And look at that. We have our co Capicola on the Copa. Very gentle with it. There you go. Look at that striations of fat there too. Yes. We got chorizo de Reconex. Chorizo, yes. We have chorizo and pastrami and the same thing. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Okay, wait. I'm running out of space. <laughs> yeah, there needs to be space. Oh my gosh, look at that color. Mm-hmm. Chorizo is very cool. Most important to me is always like the fat. The fat proportions and you see those little little like round spots there. Mmm. Yes. Ooh, that is looking uh, unbelievably delectable. And then <laughs> pastrami is running out of space. Yeah. There is no you're gonna have to find a duplex in New York City. Pastrami because it looks like our artisanal board is getting dried uh, out. Shall we uh, not put this one in yet and just focus on? Yeah, probably. Chinese beef, anyways. Yeah. Let's focus on the. Hammer. And we had that yesterday too. Yeah. So let's. <laughs> let's just put it in there for now. <laughs> and then. It's getting jealous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it got it got put back in the refrigerator. Because we have two pack more packs of Hamoni Berico that we have not opened up. I'm pretty sure we're going to finish that Hamoni Berico too. So you got to check this out from this angle. Oh, actually, let, let me set it up. Yeah. So you can have your screenshot set up. Mm -hmm. And yes, we will put some green in on our plate, on our charcuterie board. Pickled cucumber. Just a bit. Very mindful that we have... We need to keep space between everything else. <laughs> but, uh, pickles, everyone, pickles. I, uh, I love pickles. Let me, uh, I think we have olives too. Put, yeah, that. some olives too. Forgetting the olives. It's like dancing fountains at Bellagio. <laughs> or it looks like the bars of your cell phone reception. <laughs> Pale white gold color. Ooh, there we are. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Sip of the wine first. Yes, we shall. Let's we taste shall. It. We okay, shall. First. I'll take the taller one here. Yeah. More so carbonated. Let's just take a smell. I smell a lot of stone fr fruit in this. Warren. Warren. Warren, come here. Where are you? Mm. Very. Very it's like vagrant. peaches. Well, Warren. It's like a peach orchard. Mm. It does smell cheers. Like cheers. Yeah, cheers, cheers everybody, yay! Well, uh, smooth. Yes. Very smooth. Very, Very smooth. refreshing too. Mm. And it's not even cold. No. Ooh, it's good. It almost has like that green apple finish. Mm -hmm. Like a little bit. And then fades. Very clean. Yeah, it's not like overly bearing. And that's what exactly what you need when downing our Hamon Iberico. Is it time? It's time. It is time. Let us take, I'll take one piece. You take one piece. Warren, you should take a piece. Oh, this one? This oh, is the oh, finest hand. Oh gosh, take Hamon Iberico. Don't even eat it, don't even chew it. Wait, wait, don't put it in it. Okay. At the same time, and then, what do you think? Let's toast it. Toast, cheers. cheers. Hamon, cheers. <laughs> Melt on your mouth. Mm. Wow, so mm. Mm, 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 mm. Can we buy again? <laughs> <laughs> it's good, right? We have two packs left. Oh, two packs left. Mm. And then you wash it off, wash the palate off. Do they mm -hmm. allow that they, if you want to put in a sandwich? Ooh. Well, you don't want to do put in a sandwich. That's waste. Uh, because you notice that the fat, it like melts in your mouth. You don't even have to chew. Uh, yeah. It's like, oh, so cyan. Yeah. Good. Okay. So there, I get like some like little salt. It's very 
It's very balanced, I think. Yeah, it's, it's very balanced. Um, it's not too salty. But compared to like the black pig, this is kind of a little more mild. It's more mild, I would say. Because that one is really like a flavor bomb. Yeah. I'll try another one. Go, warm. Let it melt in your mouth, on your tongue. Don't even chew. Mm hmm. So I know for certain this is not the. This is not the black pig, Pata Negra. But it was like that intense sweet umami. Mm -hmm. You don't really get that with this one. What you get more is like a mild nuttiness, mm -hmm. mild earthy nuttiness. That fat is really like pleasurable. Yeah. <laughs> As far as, you know, it melting on your mouth. Yeah. It's really good. Hamon Iberico. Yeah. It is really delicious. Especially here. Like, you know, Philippines, Philippines? getting this. Yeah. Amazing. There you go. And it's during awesome. COVID. I mean, during the pandemic. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. There's like a mild apricot flavor. I just love it. I don't even know how to explain it. Yeah. It's like... And then, when you get that fat, you just don't chew anymore. It's like a party in your mouth. You, you, just, you, just, <laughs> you just let it do its thing. It's releasing more juices, yeah. a little more oil, some more salt. Unexplainable. You guys, if you haven't tried it, try it. Mm -hmm. It's really yeah. delicious. It's really worth the money. If you let it melt, you get more like gentle saltiness. Mm -hmm. It comes out. Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. Not too floral, not too... It's just the right balance of everything. Yeah. I mean... Now, if you really good. want an intense flavor bomb, you really should try the acorn-fed black pig. The, the wild boar that runs around Andalusia. That one you really want. I mean, could you do, like, a, a pig from here that's native and recreate this or not? We could, but you gotta do acorns. Feed it with acorns and grass and other plants. So we don't let have it go wild. Here we have talagos ng kamote. Hey, but it does give us an Yams. idea about how to. <laughs> Malungay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, but if you can recreate it. Jeez. But it takes a lot of love and care, I'm sure, sure. To get a pig as good. I mean, to get it to taste like it's as good as this. Mm -hmm. mm. But yeah. I'll pay for cheese. I don't know about like an intense umami flavor like you do with the black pig, but I mean, look at the look at look at the layers of fat that are there. Mm. <laughs> Warren's jumping to the chorizo iberico <laughs> already. This chorizo, um, this is the no, this is jamón iberico. This is chorizo iberico. Oh. So try it. Mm -hmm. This one is salmon. No, uh, that's uh, jamón uh, serrano. You're close so, though. So <laughs> try it. Hmm. What are we trying? This. Chorizo very good. Okay. Before we're even getting to the cheese, we're still on the chorizo iberico. Mm. Well, let's take a little bit of wine first and cleanse. Cleanse the palate. Very good. It does what it says on the tin. It really releases your tongue from the oil. It gives you a great palate cleanser. To tackle this next thing, the chorizo iberico. Smoky or what kind? I'm really getting like that, yeah. Smoky, lean, pork. Really more the smokiness. Fat just melts in your mouth. But it too, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those little pockets of fat and burst with juice. It's an elevated, it's really an elevated tree, so. Yes. I agree. An elevated tree, yeah. That's good. Okay. How are we on cheese? You want to try our semi curado? Yeah. Let's try the. That's the manchego, right? Yeah. Ooh, actually, we got, you know, get this part here. Let me try it. Just one piece. Try it together. Let's try it together. Okay. Let me check it. Oh, one, Cheers. two, three. Cheers. Buttery. Mm-hmm. Very mild. Not very strong. 
slightly barnyardy funky, mm -hmm. like a little barnyard funk. Mm -hmm. Like a little bit of hay. But it's yeah. very mild. Good descriptions. It really does taste like that. Really, really mild though. Really mild. Mm hmm And then it's crumbly. You still seem like a bit crumbly. Mm -hmm. You don't want it, of course, to be wet or... Mm. Yeah. It's good. Just dense. How? <laughs> Truffle Manchego time. Alright, one piece with the rind. Cheers. And it's flecked with truffle on there. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Oh god. Oh. What? Oh. Forget that, Forget that cheese. Um, yeah. What, what, what's this again? I'm sorry, what? I forgot my name. My, <laughs> it's oh so god. Good. So good. So good. Cheese. Just that hit of truffle. A hit of earthiness hit gets you before you even get to the cheese, right. and that is spectacular. Yeah, I've, I've done that before. What? Yeah, two minutes ago. Gosh, you you. <laughs> 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 I was saying. Do you like it? Yeah, it's so is. expensive. Black mm -hmm. truffles are so expensive. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have that taste that I can't explain it. So it's you, very you umami. Can, you can get in the Robinson. Mm -mm. I doubt it. Mm -mm. But this is like the good truffle stuff because truffles sometimes can be too strong. This is very this is very balanced but very much in the spirit of how a good black truffle tastes like. So it should taste mushroomy, it should taste earthy, it should taste garlicky, oniony, rich, chocolatey sometimes. Rich and just Yeah. You get all yeah, you get all flavors, like savory flavors, all kinds of umami flavors here. Mm. And then, mm. we gotta clean our palates again. Cheers! Mm -hmm. Ah, the perfect. The perfect taste. End. Yes. Mm. And especially with that mushroom, like if it's like lingering in your mouth, that truffle sort of taste. Mm -hmm. And you get like that little bit of carbonation. Mm -hmm. And then that little oh, bit of like that, um, like green apple finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is like so good. Heavenly. Heavenly. Let's have a pickle too. Let's have a pickle, everybody. Yeah. Mm. Completely cleansed. Yeah. It's mild tasting, not sweet, of course. Yeah. And then there's like a short burst of um, acidity, like the type of acidity we like in pickles. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, generally mild. Mm -hmm. So I think it's good for a Filipino palate. Yeah. You know? Let's try the Hamon Serrano. Yeah, Hamon Serrano, everyone. Hamon Serrano. Ooh, I got a big fat piece here. And there we go. <clears throat> All right, Hamon Serrano time. Toronto, <laughs> it's good too. It's so different from the mm -hmm. Monterey, but it's so good still. Yeah, it's not as nutty as a Monterey Barico, and it's not as melting your mouth as yes. fatty, but the flavor is. Great. It's really yeah, good. Yeah, the flavor is still rich. It's nice yeah. and salty, but not like over the top salty. And there's more chew. And again, releasing more of those oils. Yes. Hmm. Me and one must go back to Truffle Town. <laughs> Look at that. Can we open it up? Get the truffles. Here. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> The truffle right here, and then it's got flecks of truffle inside the cheese. Man. <laughs> and I love it. Put it away from you, though. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Where's that wine over there? Then I I mean, I'm running. Hmm. Or do you want to watch him do it? No. no. <laughs> um. <laughs> Ronnie, go open it outside. Yes, <laughs> That's scaring me. Go outside. But like this, Ronnie. Like this. Look. Away. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like that. 
Yeah, exactly. Well, let's watch it then. Oh, well, <laughs> well, if you look like that, it's like you're saying like, what? Are, what? I'm just um, I'm just letting some gas out or letting venting out. There you go. But one thing I really love that the truffle does to that manchego, the texture. I think it's always gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, cool. Hahaha. It's so sayang lang ano? Dakas kasi. No, I think it's really like that. No, it's really like that. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It's a part of the whole. Ah, sorry, di na yata kita lang ng apun ng sushi ka. Yangin na yun. Hmm. Kasi tatlo na. Kasi yung tay. Tama si ka. So one thing I really love about this truffle manchego, like the texture feels just a little bit more tender with the truffle and not as pasty or dry pasty or crumbly. You still have the mildness of the cheese, but then the truffle also elevates it and gives it more of a milky, milkier flavor. Totally elevates it. Yes. Times 500. Yes. So that's extraordinary. I must buy it. I must buy it. And deli by Chelly. Yes, this is the truffle manchego. Yeah. Wonderful. And of course, you gotta get that hormone Iberico. Um, what shall we try? We gotta try our capicola. So you can see here. Copa? Yeah, copa. Same oh. as capicola. Same thing. So you can see that wonderful fat and then those little striations of fat within the meat. Oh. Mm hmm. Okay, cheers again. Cheers. Wow, look at that. Just like the fat and the glistening of... Yeah. Mm, this too know. looks amazing. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Fatty, it's almost like the texture of prosciutto and sausage put together. It's the saltiest out of all the meats. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Different flavor profile though. Yes. It's not as... It definitely has like a little bit of a barn, more pronounced barnyard taste too. It seems like if this is supposed to be aged, it wasn't aged long. Right. Am I right? Am I kind of on the same? Or it does taste a bit more aged as far as... Yeah. Hmm. No, that really fatty bit. Hmm. So... We do have pieces of bread here. Bread? Who needs bread? I know, who needs bread? But, we gotta put some... Well, first we gotta put some tomato here. I'm just gonna be... Oh, natural, and just drop a little bit of tomato here. In a very Spanish, traditional way of enjoying your jamón ibérico. Put this slice on. There's two slices there. Just a little bit of tomato. Of course, untoasted baguette. And the tomato has uh, olive oil. And the, yeah, exactly. You need to have olive oil. No salt and pepper. Bread. Yeah. You could put salt and pepper, but this is just the natural flavor of the jamón. One slice, right? It's I put one. two on mine. <laughs> I want to see if it's the difference. Yeah. Toast. Toast. I guess it's what cheese. Oh, Danny, Danny. Okay, so, Hamon Ibarico has to be enjoyed by itself, really, truly, honestly. This is good, but mm -hmm. by itself is better. I think because this is not the black pig one. Because if you had a more intense Hamon Ibarico, yeah. This would all make sense. Okay, gotcha. But I think for this one, yeah, I would say best by itself. But, you notice we do have truffle cream cheese spread. So you know what? We can dip our bread in there too. Mm. And of course, we still have that New York brisket pastrami in case you ever want yeah. some. Mm. So try this and tell me what it, how it tastes like. All right. Let me see. 
Mm. Yeah. Mm. How was it? The truffle is kind of like wafting in and out. You gotta get it at first, and then it comes around, and it's all creaminess, and then it comes Coming back, out. and then it comes back, and then back to the creaminess. It's kind of oscillating between creaminess and then the savoriness. There's wow. not, it's not overwhelmed by the truffle at all. Mm. I can't wait to put a brisket pastrami on top, like little pieces of brisket pastrami on top of that. With that cream cheese. Right, though, it comes back and forth. Mm hmm. Yummy. Yummy. And more isn't. Kava. Mm, cheers. Kava. Cheers. Kava. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> but I just know it's Spanish sparkling wine. Oh, I thought it was French. Mmm. <laughs> Como se va? <laughs> you said it that way. Mmm. Yeah. And of course, we should break it off with a little more sweetness. A little sweetness with our gumdrop grapes. From Bonitos. Mmm. Yeah, it really tastes like candy. Mm. Don't drop candy. We do have cocktail onions and we have olives as well. So we're getting quite a medley of flavors here. Mm. Quite a medley. Mm. What do you think of all this, Warren? <laughs> um, <laughs> all I can say is, damn man, you're so freaking good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Don't yeah. <laughs> lie. Good. Yeah. And it's amazing everybody, all this charcuterie. We'll probably chill for a little bit and finish most of this and then try our brisket pastrami. Mm -hmm. Bring it out of the fridge again. Mmm. Delicious. But yeah. How many barrico? But I kind of feel like that truffle manchego is my favorite thing. Yeah. Out of this board. I do. Well, I'm on a barrico. But how many barrico is right up there? Uh, <laughs> And I like the, the uh, cream spread. Mm -hmm. the that too is spread. good. That too is good. Let's well, pair it with our New York style pastrami. So can't wait for that. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take some time to enjoy all this. I think this will be all be gone <laughs> in a bit, everybody. All right, y'all. I promised that I was gonna do, we were going to do pastrami and cheese, but we wound up eating the board. And there's not a whole lot left. And I think we're all very satisfied right now. Especially with that. How many berry go? Wonderful stuff. The truffle manchego is doesn't is not even there anymore. Same with the hamoni berico. We do have one more pack to spare, but that's for another day. Yeah. Uh, Warren, don't remember, don't refrigerate that hamoni berico. You can't do that. You can tell by the board which are the winners and which are the semi. You know, the, in yeah. the order. But so, we do have a little bit of truffle cheese spread. But we're gonna share this special <laughs> spoonful for other things. Maybe tomorrow morning on bread or what. Oops. Sorry. That that the. Um. And our wine is absolutely done, except for this little bit I'm savoring, yes. It's simply delicious. Mm -hmm. Totally recommend it. Yeah. Try the Hamon Iberico from yep. Deli, Deli by Chelly. So, everybody, a shout out to Deli by Chelly. They make some good charcuterie. They make some good pastrami sandwiches. Once again, we're not sponsored by them. We just, you know, we were very curious about their wares, and they delivered. And... They delivered up here to Ilocos Norte, Manila to Ilocos Norte, thanks to uh, my fixer as well. <laughs> so, you know, it's uh, the pandemic. It's hard to get stuff. Uh, yeah. It's just amazing that we were able to get this. So yeah. we're overjoyed and just very thankful. Yeah, yeah. exactly. We're almost done, but Warren, done. take us home. All right, guys. So if you like this freaking, you know, deli by chili, <laughs> Yeah, products. Why about this video? They should like this one even more. Yeah, than the if, Deli by Chelly, if you like this video, guys, <laughs> better yet to subscribe. Mm -hmm. I promise to you. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna try more gastronomic delights. Believe me. And of course, maybe the cheap stuff like instant noodles someday. Again, I don't know. A lot of during in our future, I believe. The future is bright. Oh, it's bright <laughs> yellow. Yeah, bright yellow and very sweet. So get it on the ground floor. Remember, 50,000 subscribers if we get there, raffle million. time. 50 million? Oh man, not even the best YouTubers have 50 million subscribers. But 50,000 if we get there is a raffle for to take you to Metro Manila, barring anything in quarantine, to Macapagal Dampa. We're going to have a 50,000 peso seafood feast. All right? 
So tell your friends and family to subscribe because maybe you'll be the one to join us. Me, Warren, Cousin JP. Yes. That's it, everybody. So, once again, subscription is free, as Warren says. And until the next video, guys, keep cool, but care. Remember, the Empire never ended, but we do have one more pack of Hamoni Barico still left over that we're going to enjoy off camera. Bye for now.